What's up everybody, this is Vanquish X and today I'm going to be talking about the gear pack system in Gears of War 4 and what I think about it, what I don't like about it, what I think needs fixing, changed, spun around or whatever to make it a better system and what I feel like needs to happen to it in the future of this game series. Now overall I do like the system as the Coalition has done it in a way where it's not game changing or anything, you know, it's all cosmetics. So having a gun with bubbles on it isn't going to make you better or deal more damage or whatnot or having your character look like he's been splashed in paint is going to make him more agile or just better than the other players which is the right way to take it in my opinion but I kind of dislike it, it's kind of a double edged sword where I like it and don't like it. I don't like it as it's microtransactions and I don't believe they belong in AAA games as a company gets enough money for people buying the game anyway and I don't think they belong in Gears of War at all, it's just kind of my personal thing about it in this game, I don't think they belong in Gears of War, it's kind of never been there and kind of just doesn't do anything for the game but I do use the system, I use in-game currency, I don't like spending money on them. I think pumping money in there, real money, is a bit daft, but I do like what you get in them. So this system is an RNG system, which means you get duplicates in the packs, meaning you can get the same thing over and over again, which is one of the biggest problems of the system. You know, if you go into it going, oh, I want this skin, I want something new, I don't care what it is, as long as it's new, and you're like, oh, I have that thing already. Oh, I have that gun skin, I have that character thing already. Where's my new thing? Where is it? And you know, if you're grinding currency and all that just to try and build up to buy packs and you get the same thing, it's a downer, it's a real downer and it's kind of a annoying and RNG systems are kind of a bad way to take it, random systems aren't that good so you know in the long run I think they have to get rid of duplicates as it just makes the system a lot better, people would use it more as you're guaranteed something new and they're already doing that, they're finding ways to do that, they're going to take duplicates out of every pack but keep it in what makes sense such as hard mode as you're going to use those cards again and again on your class to make them better, give them more health, make them run faster, allow them to put more money in the fabricator, take more damage and all that kind of stuff so it makes sense to have it in horde mode but I do hope to take duplicates out completely and just help it out a bit and take away the RNG and that's kind of a problem getting duplicates is annoying so yeah hopefully they get rid of them yeah, that's my first thing the RNG and duplicates is a big big problem next up is the pricing I think these packs are a bit expensive you know on in-game currency and in real life money as you know you're grinding to get currency and the XP you get doesn't really help as you get very little XP even if you do amazing you'll get slightly extra and that affects your currency and affects how much you're going to get and you don't get much and when you try to put them into packs which will get rid of your money quite quickly you'll run out of it and won't be able to buy more and that kind of pressures people into using real money because they desperately want something which I think is a big problem you know kind of pushing folk into it is a kind of shady deal to me I just think just drop the price a bit make it more affordable you'll get more traffic for it people will use it a lot more I might just push the system up for you a bit so yeah number two is the pricing drop it a bit make it less expensive and people will probably use it and make it less shady feeling and people will just use it a lot more. And lastly is the scrap. The scrap you get for scrap and duplicates is pitiful. It's really really low and it's kind of pointless. You'll be using it a lot. It'll take you a long long time to get even near unlocking a skin for your character as you get hardly anything and it's, it's an annoying thing. Especially if you go through a lot of packs and get a ton of duplicates and get absolutely feck at all for scrapping them. Like for example in the 10th anniversary packs where you got Gary Carmine, a new Carmine and you got gun skins based on Carmine and Gears of War just to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the game. It's it's unbelievable to think Gears of War has been around for that long, it's just crazy and it's been 10 years of Gears. Holy crap and I think I went through about 20 packs all of in-game currency and I got about 5 Lancer skins of the same thing, you know a couple of sniper skins which are the same, emblems and all that. It took me till in the last pack, it was maybe 20 or 25 or something to get Gary Carmine and then I scrapped them and got hardly anything and that kind of brings down the system more because you know trying to do it, trying to get skins, character skins, spend the money in it, currency, real money or whatever whatever you guys do and then you scrap them because you get duplicates and you get nothing it kind of drags down the system and kind of just drags you down because you're like oh I don't have enough to get that now and that's kind of all the problems I have with it it's kind of that and the duplicates that are worse I think I think the duplicates in the scrap system are a really bad thing and they really have to fix that so overall I just think they have to take out duplicates which, which they're doing which they're keeping it hard which makes perfect sense drop the price in to make it more affordable not seem as daunting to put real money in it as you don't get a lot of in-game currency and the scrap 
app system needs major work. You need to give you a lot more. Just raise it. Just raise how much you get. And it'll help it along. And I think the gear packs have to go. And they don't belong in Gears of War. It kind of takes away from the feel of Gears of War multiplayer. And it has to go back to what it was before in the old games. Where you had to do various challenges and stuff like that in multiplayer to unlock characters and skins for your weapons and stuff. Take Gears of War 3 for example. You know, for some characters you had to hit a certain level. Hit certain medals and all that. Achievements. Complete the campaign one of the difficulties and just do a various round of things to get characters, you know, get headshots, hit certain levels, get medals and games, do certain things and just, you know, do them and get the characters you want and the skins you want and that kind of made Gears of War multiplayer a bit more competitive and a bit more fun and grindy because you want to play as much as you can to do a certain challenge to get a character you want which means you play a lot and just have a lot of fun with it as you're just trying to get a challenge done and get this character you want and just added more of a competitive nature to the multiplayer which has always been, you know, fast and hard hitting and that's Gears of War to me that's Gears of War multiplayer to me and what made it give it a different feel to other stuff out there and I really hope they go back to that I love the game in general the campaign was really good in the way they connected the old and the new stuff and all that and I really like multiplayer I play that almost every night and have one hell of a time with it every game even if I rage I rage because I'm not that good but I'm still having fun even if I get angry at it and I just think the system drags it down a bit because it's the nasty microtransaction thing that people hate and now they're in Gears of War and I really Really hope they get rid of them. You know, Gears of War 5, hopefully you guys get rid of it because it's stuck in Gears of War 4, it's not going to get taken away now, and hopefully they just improve it. But overall, I would like them to get rid of it. If they got rid of Gears of War 5, I would be really happy. If they fix the system and make it a bit fairer and easier and just a better thing all round, then you know, you can keep it from the people who actually love the system, whereas like me, who likes it a little bit, I wouldn't mind if you got rid of them. So yeah, that's kind of all that video was, guys, to go over my feelings on the gear packs. You know, it kind of sounds like I'm bashing it a lot, but I like the stuff they give you. I really want some of the skins. I want the colour black skin for one of the swarm. I think it looks really really cool and fun and kind of just unique in that. Some of the gun skins are really really cool but I think it just needs work to be better and in Gears of War 5 I hope they just get rid of the thing completely and go back to the challenges which was a much more fun way of doing things in the old Gears of War games. So yeah you're going to notice more Gears of War videos coming on my channel now as I'm a part of the Coalition Army which is a part of the Gears of War website where you kind of join a community of YouTubers, video creators, cosplayers, artists and the Coalition Army gives you a bunch of stuff. You get overlays and intros which you notice at the start of this video the things that's up at the bottom of my page now is an overlay and so they give you a lot of cool stuff for enjoying it and there's a lot of forums you can put your videos up and get support from the community and help them out and just belong to a big community of Gears of War which has been here since Gears of War 1 and it just makes you feel more close to them all because there's a way for you to talk to them and get your stuff seen so you're going to see more Gears of War videos coming up but of course I'm going to still do my movie news and my reviews and reactions that's not getting flung away it's just expect more Gears of War I've got one or two videos in the works after this one I've got a Christmas one for December you know same what it could do for December in the game, like events, skins, just things they could do for Christmas and Gears of War. And I'm just going to do more of them and hopefully, you know, start showing you my love for Gears of War, which I don't really do much on this channel. So that's going to be for me, guys. If you like the video, rock out that like button. Leave a comment down below and tell me if you agree with what I think about the system, about it, you know, getting changed or getting flung away completely. And if you like it, don't like it, hate it, or use it on occasion. And also, don't forget to subscribe as it does really, really help me out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. I love you guys and stay tuned for the next video.